setting up the logistic when holding virtual summits. First of all, you need three or four months to train and prepare yourself. A virtual summit is not something you should rush in. Hurry up! No. You need no. the moment and the time to build your event in stages. Uh -huh. Think about how long your virtual summit will last, the best dates, and when you will sell your all access pass to participants. A summit should not last more than seven days, and for a beginner, it is recommended for four up to five days. You should ask yourself the following questions. What industry or niche am I most passionate about? What will be the topic of a virtual summit? What topics make me feel more comfortable when providing information to my audience? What are my short and long-term goals during and after the virtual summit? What type of public do I want to attract within this niche or industry? What do my potential clients want to see at the virtual summit? You must bear in mind that around 90% of the people of any niche are not interested in buying or paying for your services. You have to think further. You must focus on your niche in people who may be interested in your offer. Asking yourself these kind of questions will help you understand and develop a vision of who your target audience is. Your topic should be broad enough to interest a large audience within the niche and at the same time specific enough to add value to the business or profile of the participants. To illustrate this, let's see the following example. If you are hosting a virtual summit regarding yoga, there is no doubt that those who practice yoga will be interested in participating in your virtual summit. They will be involved in listening to the guests you have while feeling part of the community. So this is where you should think more deeply about it. Uh -huh. What can yoga do for other people? What do you offer? For example, you can offer live yoga classes to stay at home moms or fathers who want to exercise from home. They may also be large corporations that wish to provide yoga classes to their employees during lunch hours. Another example may be athletes who need to increase their flexibility, but they are not sure how to start. Yes! After watching this video, you should have a better understanding about this topic. If you still have any question, please ask. Ask, please. Use the comment section. Another important thing is that you must continue educating yourself about this topic. That's why I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel so that you can receive much more free information about this topic and other internet marketing strategies that will help you grow your online business. In the same way, I recommend you to press the small bell next to the subscribe button. This way, you will receive alert in your YouTube account and in your email at the precise moment when I publish a new video, so that you can be informed much more sooner than other users. Last but not least, I would like to invite you to join my mailing list. You will be informed every time I add new content to my website, and you will receive by email free internet marketing information on a regular basis, which will help you grow your online business faster. You don't have to pay anything for it, it is completely free. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you later in the next video. Goodbye.